two, one. Two weeks from today marks Memorial Day, a federal holiday honoring those who died while serving in the U.S. military. But this week is National Police Week, which honors those who have lost their lives in the line of duty for the safety and protection of others. At this time next year, former Moody County Chief Deputy Ken Prorock's name will be engraved on the walls of the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C. Last week, Prorock's name went up on South Dakota's wall in Pierre at an annual peace officer ceremony. It's been three months since Prorock became the first South Dakota officer killed on duty in over 12 years. His sheriff and good friend Troy Wellman, seen here at Prorock's February funeral, describes what it's been like for the family and the community these last three months. Like trying to stay dry in a hurricane. Hmm. The, uh, and obviously we can't just stop doing what we're doing. The beat goes on, but Wellman, who like many in town, is close to Pro Rock's family, says he is reminded daily of Pro Rock and his impact, and he needed to pause to gather his emotions. It, it, it literally was like losing your right hand man. The void is gigantic, says Wellman, who 21 years ago lost another friend in fellow Moody County officer, Deputy William Paul Davis. So you can imagine how hard National Police Week hits home. Even in a small, tight-knit place like Moody County, which has only seven officers. Sioux Falls and Minnehaha County, meanwhile, is home to the state's largest police forces. But Minnehaha County Sheriff Mike Milstead, who is at Pro Rock's funeral, says all officers everywhere feel a deep bond, whether they know each other or not. It is a family. It, I mean, it's, it's a group that you care about. It's a group that you recognize um, their sacrifices, and and you know what they are willing that they're willing to, to to throw caution to the wind. And things like the blue streamers and a thank you banner outside the city's law enforcement center are sorely appreciated. If if you really feel that way when you see an officer somewhere um, having coffee or stopping in at a store, or if you say just let them know, hey, thanks for what you do. You have no idea it really means a lot to him. Milstead was one of the estimated 1,000 law enforcement officers from all over the country to pay their respects to Ken Prorock at his funeral. Attorney General Marty Jackley has asked for the death penalty in the first degree murder case against Joseph Jean Hoke of Sioux Falls, the man who was accused of killing Prorock.